Good morning class. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. So in our previous session, we had discussed how birds can fly and along with that, we had also discussed about their food habits. So today, we are going to solve checkpoint exercise 2, which is given in your course book. Along with that, we will discuss about birds, uh, yes, their feet and claws. And we will also discuss how birds build nests. Okay, children, are you all ready? So let's begin, children. I'll just share my screen with you all. Be ready, children, with your course book. Okay. So let's begin. State true or false. A curved beak, A1, helps the bird to crack nuts and other hard fruits. Yes, they have curved beak that so that easily crack nuts and other hard fruits. So they, this statement is a true statement. B1. A sparrow has long and pointed beak. No. Hummingbird, woodpecker, sunbird, children, they are they have they have long and pointed beak. So this statement is a false statement. C1. A woodpecker has a strong and chisel-shaped beak. They have, are having a strong and chisel-shaped beak so that they can peck the wood. So that's why this statement is a true statement. B1. A duck has a spoon-shaped beak? No, a duck has a flat and broad beak. So this statement is a false statement. E1. A pelican is a fish-eating bird. Yes, children, they have sharp and edged beak, children, so that they can catch fish. They can catch fish, they can catch crab, tadpoles, okay? So this statement is a true statement. Now children, we will discuss about feet and claws. So we all know that birds have two feet and each foot has four toes with claws. We have nails, they have claws, right? They are going to, they, the, uh, this feet and claws are going to help them in when, if they want to catch food, they can use their feet and claws. If they want to sit on the branches of trees, they can do that with the help of this. And even they can protect themselves from their enemies. So different birds have different types of feet and claws. Let's, let's discuss about them, children. First one, perching birds. Birds such as crow, sparrow, manna. Children, as you can see in this picture, they have three toes pointing forward and one toe pointing backward. They use their toes to tightly hold a branch of a tree or an overhead wire. They perch or they sit on the high branches of trees without falling. So that's why they are called as perching birds. Okay, children. Then we will discuss about scratching birds, children. You must have observed birds such as hen, roosters, they children scratch and dig out worms, insects which are there, which are buried in the ground. So from the ground, they are going to scratch, they are going to dig. And they use their strong legs with sharp and hard claws for scratching the ground. So that's why these type of birds are called as scratching birds. Next one, flesh eating birds. Children, birds such as eagle, vulture, they have strong, sharp and curved claws called as talons, right? These help, these will help them to catch their prey such as mice and rats. So that children, there they have very sharp and curved claws so that they can easily catch their prey. Right? And that's why they are called as flesh-eating birds. Climbing birds. Birds such as woodpecker, they have two toes that point forward and two toes that point backward. Such toes help them while climbing so that they can hold on to the tree and they can easily climb. So that's why they are called as climbing birds. Next one, children, swimming birds. We all know about these type of birds like duck, goose. They have webbed feet, children. As you can see, they have three toes, children, front toes. And there is a fold of skin. There is a web of skin between them. 
so and there is one toe at the back so the webbed feet act like oars and help the bird to swim so they can easily children swim right that's why they are called as swimming birds now next one wading birds children wading birds right some water birds such as crane and heron have long and thin legs they spread out toes and prevent the birds from sinking into the mud in a pond mostly you are going to find these type of birds near a pond so they have these type of toes children so that they can walk through muddy water in search of food without getting wet so this movement is called wading and birds are called as wading birds so that's why they are called as wading birds my right, children okay now we will discuss about nests the homes of birds are called nests birds use twigs grass feathers cotton wool leaves pebbles and they build their nest why nest is important children why they build nest because birds lay eggs over there they are going to keep their babies they are going to keep themselves they are going to protect themselves from their enemies they are going to protect them from the bad weather and they are going to keep their babies over there so that once they are ready to fly then they can fly away but till then they need to take care of their babies so, so this one so this is the reason birds build nests right children so different kinds of nests nest in holes a woodpecker pecks a hole in a tree trunk we had already discussed about that with its beak so they are going to use this hole as a nest second one cup shaped nest birds such as sparrows and hummingbirds they make children cup shaped nest so these nests are very common such nests protect the eggs and babies of birds right then we will move to the next one nests in rocks an eagle makes its nest either on the higher branches of tall trees or on rocks the nest is made in the shape of a shallow cup by gathering few sticks so this is an eagle's nest children right now we will move to a woven nest a weaver bird uses grasses twigs and leaves to weave a nest on a tree with its beak so the nest has a tunnel shaped opening at the bottom so that bird can enter inside and the nest hangs from the branch of a tree then a stitched nest a tailor bird makes its nest using large leaves they are going to use their beak like a needle to stitch the leaves together using cotton threads or threads from a spider's web that is why it is called a tailor bird right children they are going to take the threads from spider's web and that's why these type of bird i, I mean that's why they are called as tailor bird right now nests on open ground a penguin in very cold places they are going to live in very cold places so they makes its nest on the ground with a few stones or pebbles right children so this is how different birds even they are going to make their nests right children and they are going to have different kinds and different types of feet and claws i hope whatever we have done today that is clear to you all thank you and have a nice day children okay so we had today discussed we had solved i'll just stop my presentation we had discussed about the stomach children yes we had discussed about feet and claws we have solved checkpoint exercise 2 yes and along with that we had discussed how birds build nests okay children i hope whatever we have learned today that is clear to you all okay thank you and have a nice day bye children <coughs>